Welcome back. Um, in this video I'd like to show you guys how to update the graph on your pathfinding system. So in our game we are using a grid graph like so. I'm going to rename this graph. We can just highlight it and go to terrain main graph. I think that's a good name for the graph as we're covering the whole terrain with this. So if we look through the graph and uh, scroll down to the collision testing. When we test for collisions we create a capsule and the capsule scans through the terrain at a particular diameter and height and sees where the obstacle game objects are and where those obstacles are the unit will not be able to walk through them and also it needs to give itself enough space to walk around them as well. Okay so if we play the game now we haven't really set up any obstacles but I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. At the moment we can walk through the objects in our game. So we need to find a way to stop this and to update this every time we build a new uh, unit or a new building or anything in this game. And it's rather simple to do. There's a few methods but I'm going to choose the easiest solution and if we need to build upon it in the future I'll do that as well. So to, to begin to demonstrate a uh, obstacle I'm going to creates a cube in this game. I'm going to make it bigger like so and for the obstacle to work and to manipulate the graph it needs to have a collider on it so this has already got a box collider on it but we, if we wanted these units to manipulate the graph we'd need to attach one onto them as well. Okay so I'm going to drag it into the terrain itself and go to the A star system and I'm going to build scan the graph to build it out and as you can see we mask the obstacles so I'm going to change the layer to obstacle that's all we need to do here scan the graph and as you can see the unit cannot walk through this obstacle and there's space here for the unit to walk around the graph so not only do we need to do this for our units we need to update the graph every time we build a new uh, building basically so let's quit this now I'm going to delete this cube and I'm going to rebuild the graph again. Boom. We can do this a lot quicker just by focusing on one object so I'm going to show you guys how to do it in this video. I'm going to open my world script and do it on this one. Um, there's a few things about asset bundles here but don't worry about that. We're going to concentrate on the on GUI method. I'm going to create a button and when we click that button the graph is going to update. Okay so starting off very simple um, so if GUI button new rectangle very generic button here um, let's go 30 units 230 let's call this updates grid graph so when we click this button we want to update the grid and to do that we need to include the pathfinding class references so in using pathfinding okay and this is just two lines of code we need to firstly find an obstacle to manipulate the graph so let's do that now game object obstacle equals game object find I'm going to find my UFO and now all we need to say is our A star path active so we're getting the active graphs here and go we're going to use the update graph method so within the updates gra update graphs we can just pass in the bounds of our collider of the obstacle so obstacle game object collider bounds so simple as that so we're getting our collider getting our obstacle with collider which we need to put on the UFO update active graphs with obstacle collider bounds. It's cool so this is very quick it doesn't take long to compute since we're just dealing with the bounds of the collider. So to demonstrate this let's go to the UFO topmost unit object and I'm just simply going to put a collider on it so component physics let's put a box collider on this just for demonstration purposes. Um, let's just make things bigger so I can see them. So here's our box I'm going to make it cover the entire UFO. Okay, so I think yeah, that's about right. Let's bring it down. Cool. And of course, we need to 
update this layer to be an obstacle. We don't want to change the children because we're only interested in the object with the collider on it. Okay, so let's play the game now. And as you can see, the whole grid is walkable. The blue grid represents area we can walk on. So with the UFO selected, let's bring it down so it's intersecting with the uh, graph. And as you can see, it's gone inside the terrain, so is the collider. I'm going to go to Update Grid Graph. Boom. As you can see, it happens straight away. Even in the Unity editor, it's rather quick. OK, guys, so here we go. We can no longer walk on this graph. And uh, let's just prove Let's just prove this by getting uh, going to the game. Let's get the unit, if we can find a unit and simply just walk to the UFO and the unit should stop outside the UFO okay so this is how we update the grid in our game it's very simple to do we'll be using it in the future and we can update it as many times as we like very quickly okay so in the next video we'll continue building the pathfinding in our units thanks for watching the video